Hello. Hi. So I want to do a video my love bracelet. Now, I've had it now for three years. I bought it in 2021 and it was my first jewelry from Cartier and I was really excited and kind of nervous going into boutique but fortunately uh, the sales associate and everybody in the boutique over in Rodeo Drive were really nice and really uh, informative with the bracelet. Now I was really like in shock when I went into the boutique. The sales associate like didn't really need to measure or anything like they just looked at my wrist and automatically said this one and uh, they explained it that the size 16 would be perfect for me because uh, the other size up would be too big and it would literally um, be able to slide off of my hand and that's not the case with these bracelets they're supposed to fit they are supposed to fit perfectly on the wrist and not be able to just easily slide off like any bangle bracelet so that's what I got I got the 16 but when I got it in the boutique I made them put it on my left wrist because uh, I figured I'm right-handed and I'm going to be using this hand a lot and I don't really want to scratch it so I figured if I put it on my left wrist I won't scratch it that much because I'm really not using my left wrist as much as my right but I noticed you know immediately after getting it like I'm always bumping into stuff like every single detail I noticed and uh, it got scratched so now it's like it's part of the bracelet it's builds character and I like the scratches it all have a story to them and I am good with them and even though it has a lot of scratches you can still see the shine. I mean, I can see the shine. Um, now, I do have to mention that the reason why I have it in my right wrist is because I had it cleaned. I took the bracelet off after all these years of wearing it nonstop on my left wrist and, you know, sleeping with it, showering with it, and just everything on my left. I took it off and I took it to the Cartier Boutique here in Las Vegas. Um, the Wynn has, uh, that's the closest to where I live, the Wynn Cartier. So I went there and they cleaned it for me. It was really quick, like I didn't have to wait because I went during the week. A week when there's not that many people as opposed to the weekend. I would say that's more full with people so I ended up going uh, during the week and they immediately it was a walk-in I just walked in and I told them that I wanted my bracelet cleaned and they did it for me they gave me something to drink while I waited and it really wasn't that long they steamed it and cleaned it and now it's like clean and even though it has scratches, it's nice and clean. And Cartier Gold, yeah, it's expensive, but it's worth it because the shine on it is really amazing. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is like changing of wrist because my left wrist, I do feel like it was slightly, not dramatically slimmer, but just a tad bit slimmer than my right wrist because this is my dominant hand. So I thought that because this is my right hand, my dominant hand, and it's a slight thicker, that maybe the bracelet would not fit. Uh, but it does. It fits a little bit, you know, it's not as loose I don't know if you can see the tan line on my uh, it's like right here I don't know if you can see it anymore now because I've been in Las Vegas and it's so hot but there used to be like a tan line of the bracelet but 
it fits pretty much the same it's just a tad bit um up but yeah it, it just fits a little bit just a little bit tighter here but it's not a big difference like oh my god uh it doesn't fit at all anymore like i did i went like about a week without using this you know i took it off and i went about a week because i was in the middle of moving and and all of this here in las vegas and so i finally got like some free time to go over to cartier and get this clean because it was filthy dirty like when i took it off and i saw especially like with these diamond um the diamonds on the bracelet like in the inside of the diamonds let me see so on the inside of each diamond there is the hole so a lot of like dirt build up lotion and everything was built up behind this and so that's where cartier went in and steamed it and cleaned it made sure all the gunk was out and yeah, just made it look nice and pretty again. Now, the sales associate told me that I can go back maybe in two years and get it polished, but I don't really plan on doing that because when you polish the bracelet, it takes off a layer of gold and I don't really wanna do that. So I'm okay with the scratches on the bracelet. It builds character, it tells a story, in my life and I'm perfectly fine with scratches it's natural with gold to get scratches so that's something always to consider when you get the love bracelet from Cartier like when you first get it it's like nice and shiny and so perfect and you know just perfect and shiny and flawless and then as you wear it throughout the months throughout the years is going to get scratches no matter what okay it's like there's nothing you can do about it and i'm really happy with this bracelet and i say it was worth it now i got it with the four diamonds and even though it's expensive than the regular love bracelet i feel like it was worth it because knowing me i would always if I were to get the regular love bracelet, I would always, in the back of my mind, I would always be thinking about the diamond version. And this, and this bracelet is also one of my most complimented jewelries, you know, at work. And just when I go out, people uh, always compliment it. And yeah, I wanted to stop by here and talk about you know give you guys an update on my love bracelet especially considering that i went to the cartier boutique had it cleaned and it was a really easy and really pleasant experience having it cleaned and uh, changed it from my left wrist to the right one so yeah guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comments and subscribe see you on my next video Bye.